people do some crazy things with their clothes off. Around the world, humanity has a grand history of holding some rather bizarre attitudes toward sex, and whether it leads to sexual proclivity or prudishness, there are a ton of strange happenings regarding sex. Here are 10 strange sex facts around the world. Number 10. Nazi Sex Dolls During World War II, soldiers consorting with prostitutes and acquiring sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis were a huge problem. In order to combat infections among the Wehrmacht, Hitler had blow-up sex dolls made. The dolls, which sported a fashionable bob haircut, enjoyed a brief trial before the campaign ended. It is believed the last of the prototypes was lost during the firebombing of Dresden. Number 9. Impotence Trials Catholics tend to be extremely serious about matrimony, especially the whole till death do us part bit. In France, any husband accused of impotence obviously had the burden of proof. The test to indicate his prowess included standing at attention before a tribunal of clergy, physicians, and like-minded parties. He would then be forced to ejaculate to their satisfaction. Not surprisingly, many gentlemen failed this audition. There was, however, a second chance. Should one wilt under scrutiny, he could request a trial by Congress, which essentially boiled down to a live sex show between the indicted husband and the accusing party. Number 8. Government-Funded Prostitute Visits Amsterdam's Red Light District, De Wallen, is well known for quasi-legal prostitution and its traffic of international tourists. In an effort to grant the physically disabled citizens the chance to experience sexual intimacy, the government of Holland has been known to provide them with a monthly stipend with which to visit prostitutes. The Netherlands is far from the only country that affords the handicapped subsidies for adult companionship. They are also available in Switzerland and Germany, among other places, and there are movements to legalize sexual surrogates in Australia and France. Number 7. The Thunderbolt of Flaming Wisdom We tend to think of Buddhist monks living a very Spartan lifestyle, shunning earthly indulgences. But 500 years ago, a Tibetan monk named Drupka Kunli enjoyed the kind of sex life that would make Hugh Hefner seem like a virgin. Kunli was best known for his campaign of romance. Kunli preached enlightenment through sex, earning the title the saint of 5,000 women. The monk, perpetually drenched in alcohol, claims to be able to change female demons into good deities by striking them with his penis, which became known as the Thunderbolt of Flaming Wisdom, clearly the coolest nickname for a dude's manhood ever. Number 6. Romantic Sleepovers In the US, teenagers would never dream of asking their parents for permission to sleep together at home. Dutch parents, however, are somewhat more accepting of the idea of romantic sleepovers held between teen lovers. There is some debate as to exactly how prevalent these rendezvous actually are, but it is clear that Dutch parents are far more open with their children about sexuality, and this education has led them toward more responsible decisions. Number 5. Homophobia. Same-sex marriage has become a hot-button issue around the world with 15 countries legalizing it and other nations, like the US, allowing it on a jurisdictional basis. Jamaica regularly vies with countries like Venezuela and Belize for the title of the world's murder capital. For gays, things are far worse. Although it's not technically illegal to be gay in Jamaica, sex between men is punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Number 4. Sex Drive-Ins. For those who frequent prostitutes or play Grand Theft Auto, the concept of a car date will be quite familiar. You cruise down to one of your city seedier neighborhoods, pick up a lady wearing latex pants, and make for the nearest dark alley. Sex drive-ins were first established in the Netherlands in the mid-1980s, spreading to Germany in 2001. In 2013, one even opened in Zurich, Switzerland. Number 3. Lights Out. In some areas of Texas, authorities have established a Lights Out program, which aims to keep sex offenders under control. Lights Out was implemented in 2005 after a sex offender was seen at an elementary school Halloween party. 
It required all sex offenders to refrain from putting up any decorations or keeping any exterior lights on during Halloween, thus dissuading children from approaching their homes. Number 2. Magdalene Asylums The defense of a woman's propriety has taken many strange turns, but few more punishing than the so-called Magdalene Asylums. These facilities, ostensibly populated by prostitutes, were designed to keep women from sacrificing themselves to promiscuity. While some of the residents were prostitutes, many were ordinary girls, some just 12 years old, committed by family members who were afraid for their morality. The best-known Magdalene asylums were in Ireland. There, the women were for all intents and purposes slaves. Number 1. Porn and Sex Toys as the birthplace of the Kama Sutra, that ancient chronicle of erotic love with its detail of acrobatic sex positions, one might assume that India would have rather liberal views on sex. This could not be further from the truth. In fact, the sale of pornographic materials or sex toys is considering obscene by the government of India, and under section 292 of the Penal Code, their distribution is punishable by up to two years in prison for the first offence subsequent offenses can earn you five years in jail. Although it's a crime to sell porn in India, the laws regarding viewing it have been historically murky.